Where is Earl right now? I die in them both. Right over here. All right. Can you ask him to get my water for me and get me set up and have a nice show? Um, oh, okay. It's over here. But we got to get together as a team pre-show and go, we're going to set this up, yeah. you know, cause it, so it can be like a real radio show. Over here. I'm sorry, buddy. I don't want to have you work. I really don't. But in this case, we needed it today. All right. Don't stand over me. Um, I love him. Yeah. But I would love to have a team that will like we can count on. Because even some of this stuff I didn't need right now, except for you told me I would have it. So I started into that. But I, yeah. di I didn't need any of that. You know, we could have done it at any point in the show. I'm trying to be, you know, get along nice because I want to be a nice person because I know everybody has feelings. You have feelings, Chris. Vito, you have feelings and you should feel uh, empowered and valued. Chris, faith. I got faith in all you guys. Everything's great. If I even get slightly upset, everybody is like, I hate Ron. No. I don't no. Want Ron to die. That's, That's not true. true. Ever. That's not the case. Believe me, I read minds. I know what I'm talking about here. I can read a mind. Uh, so last night was incredibly fun, but this is always the funny thing about comedy. It all feels important last night, and then today you're like, mm, no one's going to. You know what I mean? That's all stuff. All that stuff is gone now. Well, that's like the cool and sad thing about live performance. Yeah, I hate it. I hate it. I wish it would mean something to someone. <laughs> like, uh, imagine, uh, like, if you're a Broadway performer and you're doing the same show over and over, and then, like, you nail it, and then you're just like, well, that's gone. Yeah. That one, like, that was the one. I've been working for this for months and months and months. We finally did a perfect show. Tomorrow we're going to have a matinee that's going to stink. It's the same show. Yes. <laughs> and, you know, people who go to Broadway all the time, and I know people who are like, well, I've seen Chicago 12 times. Mm-hmm. And I go, why? And they go, well, it's, there's fuck-ups that happen, and it's really exciting. <laughs> then you are not a fan. Then you hate Broadway. No, they <laughs> love the fact that they could see how hard these people work because right. one night a light fell. You know what I mean? Like, when that light falls, you're like, oh, okay. That's how many things have to work. Or like someone forgets their place and just starts, like, breakdancing yeah. and just pretending this is part of the show. If I was on Broadway, I'd always sing like this. There's no business like show business. <laughs> I would never use anything but, like, a 1930s voice. <laughs> Man, now I'm forgetting who it was, but remember I had sent you that thing where a, uh, a girl on Instagram just does the setups? Oh Broadway yeah, Broadway shows. I would have to find that again. That shit was so funny. Here's to me. the funny thing: it is I'm the one who sent it to you. Nah. -uh. Swear to God. Get it. Swear to God, I saw it and I go, Gail's gonna love this. You sent it to me. Why yes, did I she. It? Why did I think I sent it? Because to you? Because <laughs> you think the world revolves around you. I guess when... I do. I would never think that. Well, here's why you would think that: as you can see from what I do for a living, no, <laughs> it doesn't revolve around me. Chris ignores me, Vito ignores me, and then Earl ignores Chris and Vito. I'm like, now, when you told me he was going to have that technical yes. thing for me, he just sat, he didn't move. Well, I, t I told you that, and I texted him that at, right after I yeah, told you. Yeah, but what do you think he did? He just sat there. He was still in that spot. Uh, yeah, he was at, moving very slowly, if moving at all. Yeah. Can you call him in and tell him, you know, do the full run? Because I want everything to work. I want all run. you guys to be valued and happy. He is, he just hauled ass. He really yeah. did That go was fast. fucking quick. That was Antonio Brown fest. Oh, what are we going to do to light a fire on you, buddy? Everybody what? loves you. Well, I got the text. I went to the printer first because he it's a, How about just, you know, you don't need to do that. You could use a pen and be so much faster. It's just a couple of plugs. Just a couple of plugs. Okay, yeah. He was just like, grab it off the printer now. Go, run. And I'm like, okay. I went to the printer. wasn't there. But ran down last, the hall. But why would you say grab it? Why did we need it right at that second, Chris? I just wanted to make sure we had the start of the show. That I know, but fault. the thing is, he didn't. Why did we start the show with he's getting it? When you know he doesn't move. I assumed if I told him to go here and get this, it would have moved. And I said, and I, and I did. Well, as, ran home. as somebody that was on the group text, he didn't say go to the printer. Yeah, that was my fault. I went to the printer first. I'm assuming. Was... Well, you see, that's the thing. You okay. Told him that... oh, I said, grab some. He said, grab it. I assumed it was already on the printer. All this stuff didn't need to be done. No, Not one no. problem here. And yet, who ends up angry? 
Dickhead, Ronnie B. No, the fucking I, ass is the fucking ass clown of Clown Town. You're not an ass clown you of Clown Town. You don't Say live the whole clown fucking town. time. You're not the ass I, clown of Clown Town. Spiritually, I do, Chris. Spiritually, that's where I live right now. Physically, you know the you're not there. picture of me and Juju, right? Yeah, love it. Flathead wrote wrote to me today. He said we finally got a picture from your best side because it was the back, <laughs> and that is, you know, what? first of all, I didn't think you guys would laugh at that. I thought I you'd feel sorry for me. I didn't yeah. laugh. Chris didn't. Your best boy didn't. He knows what to do. Well, my best boy is Earl because he's the guy who's always thinking printer. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, it really <laughs> bothered me and I was going through to see if I really sent it to you or you sent it to me. Yeah. And I realized what I sent you was every woman in the 70s video. And so I was getting those confused. I don't you think I saw bothered. that one. So it's uh, Lauren Wilford on Twitter. Mm-hmm. And she does uh, an impression of every woman in seventies movies. All right, and I it's haven't so I good. haven't seen this, and I'm. Hold you on, didn't I, respond. I thought maybe. Hold they, on, I got a call from a Chinese place <laughs> that wants to speak to me in Chinese. It's constant that mm. I get these, but I can't say Chinese because that hurts people's feelings. All right, you got this seventies thing. Found it. Hello. Yes, I will. I'm going to get some products in China. Great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is 70s movies. Yes, this is every woman in 70s movies. It isn't the dark ages, Harry. This is 1976. If you're trying to make it with me, Buster, you're going to need a better line than that. Darning socks and needlepoint. Is that what you think my scene is, Johnny O? Get real, babe. You want to get into what turns me on, Ellen? Dream on, pal. You think I've never smoked grass, is that it, Ted? <laughs> Gee, Ed, you look terrific, really terrific. Paul, I just hate it when you use that phony tone of voice. Neil, are you decent? I just think you're being very hostile, Walter. That's it. It's your hostility that I'm succeeding as a woman in your man's world. Well, Michael, I'm feeling really lousy, actually, if you must know. <laughs> A real jerk. Stephen, I'm just saying he had this really groovy way of looking at things. All right, all right. Jesus, where is the Valium? I don't know. It just opened my mind right up. I know we're not making love right now, Arthur, and we won't until I'm through with this phase of analysis. I just don't think it's appropriate for you to be making love to my inner child. Oh, you're sick, really sick, you know that? Of course, it's a diaphragm, Elliot. Quit being so goddamn square. Wow. It's so great. It's so dead on. I'm and obsessed with it. Here's the thing. Uh, now I'm totally in love with this woman because <laughs> those were all the women you know what right. i mean when i first started going to th the theaters you know it was diane keaton exactly joe clayberg i mean that that thing it's like the most dead on impression it's so good but it also shows that like people were oddly a little more serious yeah even in their comedy then yes you know absolutely there was a, a, a lot more sophistication and I love the uh, the idea of feminism just being a beginning. We're starting with right. this idea. <laughs> yes. And I love all the names. Elliot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're definitely That's Jewish thing, names. Gordon. Yeah. <laughs> all these movies were that that kind of um, East Coast Jewishness mm -hmm. of now that I've made it to adulthood, I'm going to take it to another level. Yeah. You know, and like people would be open to. You know, we're in our 40s. Perhaps we should drop acid and have <laughs> sex with our neighbors as if that was right. going to somehow be a positive move ahead. <laughs> I'm reading I, this book. Everybody thought that there was something that was going to make you a better all around human being. And, you know, it just yeah. now we watch fucking cartoons and cape movies. And I guess I, I, I realize that's like kind of the beginning of therapy psychoanalysis being exactly experimental not you know not most people's neighbor did it but people who were like on the edge is like i'm trying this new thing therapy smart people yeah would go to therapy people that you would like and it was because successful people were going why do i still feel bad i'm so much better off than my parents mm -hmm. and i've done all the things i'm taking care of me and i still feel like <laughs> shit. i have a great apartment yeah it, <laughs> it's fucking 
we literally forget that life is hard all the time. Mm -hmm. That you think life is easy. And if I was only born in a Rockefeller, my life would be the easiest. It never is. Mm -hmm. It sucks. No, it's all shitty. It's all shitty. And then every once in a while, you have some really big laughs, mm -hmm. you know? And then it's shitty again. And then you forget that you were laughing like five minutes ago. Let me just tell you this. And this is something I learned slowly, methodically. Get to the printer. You learned that today, probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Something to live by. <laughs> Earl. Well, Earl, what do you say? Who do you work best with in, on your team, your producing squad? Do you have squad goals? Um, I don't think we have squad goals. I work with both you of them. You gotta have squad goals. I work with both of them very well. But squad goal got time. If you had to kill one of them. If you got to fuck. <laughs> seriously, oh. if you got the fucking call from the Godfather and say. You got to whack this fucker today. And you know you don't ask. You know what I mean? You don't fucking try to explain because you're going to get whacked next. You got to take one of these fuckers out. Who would you rather get the call about? I would rather get the call about Chris. You'd rather kill Chris. You'd fucking rather kill me. This is so <laughs> this is hey, fucked so up. Chris. I yes, never Ron. Take yes. it in. Just I not, No, I'm pushing it out. <laughs> Fuck no, no, that. No. I'm so you shocked right now and it's so Chris, funny it's to me. Brett, look, I want you to go meta and take a step back <laughs> and just think to yourself, Yeah. why do Earl, you've known Earl for 12 years. Yes, yeah, a long why time. Why does he want you dead? I, I, that's a great question. Can I, I, you yeah. know why? Yeah, why? You don't have squad goals with him. <sighs> yeah. He doesn't feel like his success and your success are tied together. That's fucking ridiculous. I, Earl, it happened, though. Yes, it has. It has happened. He wants a murder me dead. happened. Yes, I mean, my mur I'm dead. I'm yeah. dead in the ground, probably shot in the neck or some bullshit. <laughs> I've known him so much less long as you. Like it is wild. I've known him for like yeah. two years, and you've known him how yeah. long? But that's more time to hate Chris. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, why do you hate his fucking guts? Why? <laughs> is it because I'm fat? Is that it? No. You know what? I'm going to tell you the truth. Yeah. Most of us don't deal with it. Uh, that on a day to day put that's a listener problem. You know what yeah. I mean? The listeners, the ones, if you anything, know what I meant? The listeners bring it up all the time. Do they? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they do. Well, that's right. I, I, you don't read social media. I try to stay away, Rod. I yeah. thought they were yeah, they happy bring about up the it. Weight. But you know what? It's actually one of the things we all like about you. I love I it. I have no problem with it. You know why? Thank you, Rod. Because it shows me that you're a man of great ap appetites. <laughs> I haven't, haven't you noticed how much shit we give Vito for losing weight I can't and looking stand great? That. It's annoying. And he's fucking it. funless. I hate it too. <laughs> yeah. Then fuck. You can't get mad at fat shaming Chris and then turn around and skinny shame me. I can do whatever I want. All right. Um, let's not turn this into fat talk. Let's talk Sorry. what it is. <laughs> Earl? Yes. Why was it that you would like to kill Chris? And you dream about it. <laughs> <laughs> you wish I'm dead. <laughs> well, I, I had a choice, and you know. But I why? Why did? Why did? Why did you, why'd you come to that choice? Was it the chips thing? <laughs> Among other things, what yes. What the fuck? The chips. You're healthier now because of me. And Vita was in on that shit too. No, I wasn't. I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> he had the majority. He's right now, he's right. He it was all you, Chris. He took all those you, photos. You brought in a large box. That of... was your fucking. That bag was of chips. not my box. But why would that box hurt your feelings so much, bro? You know, because it's just I, you know everyone has habits. I don't n nail him about his smoking habits or really? his drinking. He well, smokes and drinks a lot. Well, I mean, or farts. <laughs> so like, I think the farts are funny. Comes up all the time. Please nail him on those farts. Though. You bring up the farts, Earl. <laughs> Earl likes to get down on his knees and smell them as right as they're leaving his pants. I'm sorry to go to HR about that. Then <laughs> this man keeps smelling my ass. You know what's <laughs> funny? I don't know. HR gets brought up all the time on this show. I don't even know where they are or who they are. I probably have been on the elevator with him. <laughs> By the way, Gail and I were on the elevator with two young people. Mm -hmm. When I say young, I mean early 30s probably, yeah. who were talking the entire ride about her boss's screensaver and how he got in, she got in and changed it. I mean, did you say it? It was like a yellow, orange, almost the gold. And um, uh, I said, I'm changing this. And he goes, why? I like it. And I go, no, no. I put dogs on there and it looked great. And the next day I come back and he had changed it again. And the other girl was like, I know. And I'm like, who's getting to that? Who's, <laughs> what are these people's fucking lives? Like? I don't They're know. The, the, uh, uh, also, I didn't even know anyone still discuss screensavers 
at all. We have like eight computers in here. There's not a screensaver no, up because we're using on. them. Yeah. yeah. We're they're using them. Generic Windows fucking screensaver. That's all you fucking need. All right. Easy, dude. See, this Sorry, is I feel the like kind of thing we were that... having a nice, light, fun. You should be like and a you, 70s By woman. the way, he wasn't there. <laughs> oh, <He's, this laughs> is, we have every right to be irritated by no. that exchange. And yet he's madder than us. I know who these people are. I fucking travel the same escalators and elevators as you <laughs> guys. No escalator in this business. <laughs> I, I fucked that Girl's up. Girl's right. You should be dead. <laughs> I think you should look to Lauren Wilford for this seventies womanhood. No, was she an LA person? Um, it was the first time I ever saw her, so I assume. Chris, if you could just click that off so I could see yeah. her deal. Let's find out everything about her because I want to get her in immediately and just do that live in front of us. Oh, Providence. Providence, Rhode Island. Cool. That's close. It's so much cooler than LA. You know what? <laughs> I'll go to her. <laughs> I know. There's a part of me that wants to live in Providence, you know? I want to. I wish I grew up there so I was the state champion in something. <laughs> you could do something. anything. Yeah. Yeah. You could be the yo-yo state champion in about four weeks there. Yeah, just a little practice. You know, I never read social media stuff, but people were so nice about the picture with me and Juju. They loved it. They absolutely loved it. A lot of people calling it uh, one of the best shots ever. Okay, you took the picture. I did take the picture. <laughs> I'm um, very proud of it. <laughs> it, uh, which, you know, 100% of the time I don't like when someone doesn't ask for the You know what I mean? Like the number of times people just take pictures of you on stage now and put it up. And I'm talking about other comics. Yeah. What am I, I saying? I'm talking about Karen Feehan. <laughs> the funny thing is like, like everyone always says like, oh no, the best pictures are natural. But it's like. They're not. But like, it's very rare. It's very rare for them actually to be good. Yeah. That's why Annie Leibovitz doesn't say, I'll just come in and click off some shots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Don't even put any makeup on. You know what's really funny about that? type of photography is they take two days to fucking do lighting mm -hmm. and shadows and all that and then here when just thinks we'll come in with a camera take a picture and everybody will be happy with it mm -hmm. no one's ever happy no and do you know like the 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 amount of makeup that goes into like, I had no a idea. studio photography like really? if you were like it's like movie makeup yes. you're wearing a pancake thick and then the photo looks great but if you saw that person in real life you're like What's wrong with yeah. you? Why do you look Have you ever had TV makeup show? on and then go out and interact with people and they're like, oh, yeah. God. <laughs> I've seen celebrities like yeah. leave a shoot and then they're on the street with I know. Like, movie makeup or TV makeup and they look crazy. I know. Nuts. Especially men because you're not used to seeing but, men in makeup. But here's the thing. And people are like, oh, you have a lot of makeup on. And you have to go, I didn't put this makeup on. <laughs> you know what I mean? I sat in a chair because that was my job today. But now you're judging me like I sat in front of my own mirror in my bathroom. And you weren't going to tell her what to do? No, I have, like, first of yeah. all, I have no idea. Yeah. I mean, if if I look in the mirror, I go, oh my God, this looks awful. <laughs> but you're telling me that it looks better on TV. I'm just doing what you told me. <laughs> now people are like, take that off. You disgust me. <laughs> I have to go back in. I'm not even have a smoke right now. <laughs> By the way, there's no one who does makeup or hair that doesn't just talk to you constantly. Oh, yeah. Do they it's think that big, they're settling you down? It's a big relationship commitment. If you go to the same hair person, like for me, I've yeah. been seeing her for years. It's like we're in a very strange position where like we know about each other's lives, but we don't talk outside right. of that moment. But then, I don't know, there's just a lot of pressure. Then you can't go back to that person with a different haircut and no. be like, oh, I, you weren't here and you were on vacation. Nope. That's it's, over. You've got to find really a new stressful. place. My guy... Uh, we don't talk at all, and then I overtip because I want nice. him to know yeah. you're doing everything perfectly. Yeah, and I don't want to have to say shh, 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 shh if he starts to talk to me. Right, you know, because first of all, people who cut hair, they really don't know sports, <laughs> and it's one of the things that they want to get into. And you're like, you wouldn't be cutting hair. You know what I mean? Yeah. I come from the world of broadcasting, okay? I happen to be friends with some very big sports broadcasters. So I know what the game is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, my hairstylist is very well-traveled, so I just try to get into a place of where, did, where have you been recently and where are you going? Mm. And that gets me through a lot of times. Total silence with Italian 
opera music playing. That's how I go. <laughs> why do, Why are the Italians the best barbers? It's fucking okay. unbelievable. Yes, I realize the blacks and Puerto Ricans believe they're the best barbers, <laughs> but that's because their social game is on. Mm -hmm. Fucking uh, Italians with haircutting... It's the same thing they've done with masonry. They just yes. do a wonderful fuck. Yes, they do a wonderful job. And I know we're not supposed to stereotype. I know this is the 90s. I get it. You know, I'm up to date. I think that's one that they'll enjoy, a positive stereotype. Well, when we got uh, away from the Italian masons, mm -hmm. we stopped having beautiful buildings. Now we just have glass. You look at this city okay. and you're like... Oh my God, this fucking old building is fantastic. And you find out it was all Italians working on it. And there'll be statues 13 fucking floors up that yeah, nobody no, sees that are beautiful. Yeah. Like I climb up there. I will climb up <laughs> to it. No, got to. I do it for the enjoyment of it. And I go, someone's eyes should take in this art. Is that parkour or something? <laughs> well, I'm not fast. I'm not running around fucking death defying. You know, let fucking Chris die from a murder. I don't want to. I can't believe what it all said to me. Hey, you know what? Just take it in that a moment of truth happened, dude. It's Instead of slapping back, yeah. why did this happen? And how can I maybe change his mind? What do you need from me? Or what haven't I done for you that you need? Well, just, you know, you could be a, you could be a little kinder. You could be a little, give me a little more direction. You're, 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 more... You're, you're frustrating to talk to, Earl. So maybe that's why the I, anger comes I mean, out sometimes. Frustrating how? Can I just say this? I'll just jump in, and, and I don't take sides. You're a 58-year-old man. Why do you need direction? You fucking were producing when this kid was shitting green. You can direct very, yourself. Very green. No, I understand that, though, but I'm always open to new things, new ideas, you don't need new to be, perspectives. You don't need that. You need to bring your earnest to these projects. When I give you projects, you hand it over to these guys. Here's one thing that um, I try to direct her all on. It's very minor, yeah, and it's very annoying to me. But you see the iPad in front of you right there. Yes. Right? Okay. So you see how it's set up? How it the? Uh, I want to show you. Yeah. So this is how it should be set up, where it lies flat against that. Correct. Mm -hmm. What Earl does is put it on the pointiest part possible. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> you. That's what he does. And today I noticed. You pressed it, and it fell over. Yeah. Now, Earl, you just bold-faced lied I didn't, I didn't to know. everyone on the show I, and everyone I didn't, listening. I this did. is the minorest of fucking <laughs> okay. things. And, and look at and you having you a heart attack over it. Because you won't listen. I, I am listening. and I'm, You're lying. I'm not lying now. Uh, Earl, here's what he's saying. If you don't do the small things, right, the setup, how are you ever going to be trusted to do the big things? That's what he's saying. He's saying if you don't set this up, and you can see that it's not set up to be usable. And this is after a year of doing this. You should be training interns to set this up, and you should be saying, I want this set up perfectly. But you can't say that because you don't know how to do it perfectly. Well... Well, number one, I didn't necessarily set up that particular piece of equipment today. Now that said, you now you I know how it's set up. I've, I've told you that three okay, times. Okay, fine. A, a lesson Who set applied. It up, the I don't know. It was not me. I know how to use an iPad and an iPad stand, and I would never put pointy <laughs> and the pointy just, thing against just, an iPad. Just to put this point. And I've, by the way, Gail's thing is already yeah. up too yeah, high she true. brought that up yeah. now these are are these major things no but you want your team to come in here ready to go feeling good about themselves yeah like, let me see how i can another here this the way you men would be ron another another just minor thing what's that minor noticed. it's it, in the grand scheme of things sure mm -hmm. um maybe some days you don't notice your water is anywhere because or would put it behind the monitor to your no, left i've had that yes, many, had many times and then I have to, we've, Earl, we've said, put the water in front of Ron. But you can't put the water directly in front of, no, I put the re water directly in front of the monitor because he generally looks at the monitor. Behind the monitor. You put it behind I, the monitor. I put it front of the monitor. No, you Earl, put, we're playing hide go seek all the time with it. It's okay. It's okay. By the way, we good, haven't even gotten to the work yet. Maybe a good thing to do for each station is like a little role-playing game where you sit in that thing and go is this set to yeah. be 
Because a lot of times I think you guys say, okay, we're set up, we're done, you know, and you're not. That's the other thing. Do you guys all say to each other, we set up? You know, I haven't done it recently, and that's my fault, but I'll de I'll say every once in a while, you know, we check, we check headphones, we check levels, we check, you know, is, you know, well, is this have, working, is that yeah, working? It's, it's, if you haven't done it recently, then you're not doing it. But you know what I mean? It's like, I could say, uh, I pull out of my driveway, I get hit by a truck, and I go, every other day, I'm, you know, checking both ways, except for today. And, you know, I'm like, I'm not getting credit for the time that I didn't get hit by a truck. Is this why you want Chris dead? Is this why you want me in the fucking ground? <laughs> Starting to see him. In the fucking Potter's Field. No one should. No, he's going to chop you up. So. <laughs> God, it's fucking grisly. Oh, he doesn't want to get caught. All right, Echo Orange uh, tweeted us this. It's interesting how Chris was going along with Earl's printer story in order to cover for him. Uh, Chris Stanley is a nicer person and coworker than anyone gives him for. Did you notice that he was covering for you, Earl? Um, no, I did not. I didn't notice that. I, didn't, I thought. I'll be honest, I didn't either. I no. didn't. <laughs> yeah, and I don't think he was. Were you trying to cover for Earl? I don't. No, I wasn't trying to cover for. I'm a bad person. But what do you think of Echo Orange saying that thing? Uh, I think it's garbage of him. Why would you even fucking say that, Dick? All right, I see. Like, fuck, like, why even throw that out there? Did Earl just take a picture of us? Oh, are you <laughs> fucking creep shotting, Ron and Gail? <laughs> What phone with my hands? He, he takes up skirts. <laughs> a, Earl takes pictures with his Apple Watch. <laughs> Do you? No. I have a camera. You're a known liar. You slide four times today <clears throat> on the air. Yeah, look, I, I, I have free hands and no camera. He's so got what's go going on? He's got a GoPro strapped to his forehead. <laughs> well, you're like your own defense lawyer. <laughs> I say I'm taking pictures. I'm like, I'm showing both my hands are free. Just relax, dude. Just take it down a notch, okay? <laughs> you already fucking killed Chris's career today. Yeah. And as well as killed him spiritually, where you'd murder him. Yeah. You, Chris, had a very strong reaction to hearing that news, what he said. I mean, Yeah, because I think it's fucking ridiculous that this motherfucker is going to tell me he's going to kill me over Vito. I'm alive over here. Oh, <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Remember when you used to like that fucking band, Earl? Now you I used think to love shit. that band. Now you think they're shit. It's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Bagel Boss is a new person to fight. Um. <laughs> So cute. What is she in the cafeteria now? Mm -hmm. So cute. <laughs> um, and he's not fighting nails. Nails has to go into a lawsuit or something. <laughs> so he's going to fight Screech. <laughs> okay. Fucking now, shit. here's the thing. I don't know whether you guys have kept up with Screech, no but really. he's really bulked up. He's a lifter and he's a lot taller. I mean, he's going to destroy. <laughs> I think they're going to have to say to Screech, carry the bagel, bagel boss as long as you can. <laughs> but who would want to go to see this fight now? No, I don't I, think so. But it's, I think there's also, um, I feel like Screech also has a rage in him, right? Like, yeah. Isn't yeah. he known for uh, having he, rage moments? Did he sta I think he stabbed someone or he got His stabbed. girlfriend yeah, or stabbed. his wife or something. No, so he stabbed a guy that was fucking with him, his oh. girlfriend. you got to be careful. Right. When you, you're on the air. <laughs> It's understandable then. Um, but yeah, I mean, Screech is uh, is probably gonna just. This is him. turning into a squash I match. Guess. I mean, I thought he had a shot against Nails, but Screech. No, it's not gonna happen. Should have been Lisa Turtle. <laughs> oh, let's hear you say your word. You've been working on philanthropy. Oh boy, philanthropy. That's the closest you've come yet, but it's still <laughs> aggravating. Still enough to get the show canceled. <laughs> Aaron Berg's coming in later today. Ooh. He's got a big documentary. Oh, nice. Uh, about the night that he did, uh, uh, I think, a million shows. Yeah. One, night, one million shows. And you know what? It shows. <laughs> <laughs> How are people supposed to see this show? Uh, it's uh, the new special is 25 sets. It comes out October 15th, but you can pre order it now on iTunes. 25 you consider sets. it a special? I would consider it more of a documentary. Yeah. I think it's a doc. I think it's special. You got to sit down and be. 
you know, do the oh, look. He's gonna, changing it. Now. Change it uh, what I was looking for was the conversation. <laughs> You know, I was like, oh, me and Chris can talk about this. He used the word special. And then I see that you don't really care that you used the word special. You want to say it right, but you don't want to sit back and go, oh, you know what, Ron? What is a special? Let's, you know, let's spend a couple moments uh, about that. Oh, man. The fucking news is blowing up. Maybe like no other time yeah. in the Trump era. Is I just want to say something to Donald J. Trump. You got to get... Rudy, out of your camp. Yeah. He's the worst thing for you, dude. He was nuts last night. Yeah, he's got you sunk. And what he did to the fucking DOJ last night, what he did to the White House staff, it was fucking terrible. Yeah. He only cared about himself. Get him out. Yeah, he's not helping the situation. Um, But I did hear uh, a woman... Uh, who is a street person, perhaps doesn't have a home mm -hmm. on the train. Uh, and she was screaming. And she was telling us all, Trump is going to be fine. He's going to be fine. And I'm like, she's probably right. <laughs> Dude, what about you? Are you going to be fine? Yeah. <laughs> and how is she getting her information? Yeah, and she goes, he's fucking homeless. And she was uh, honestly going like this. Believe me. He's very smart. <laughs> very smart. Okay? He's going to be fine. Dude, that is what Rudy was doing last time. <laughs> I think she might have been channeling him. Yeah. Mm, uh, oh, we got dish coming up today. Yeah, a little bit. Any of dish any good dish stories before he even gets here? Is there anything? Because I've seen. Uh, honestly, uh, I feel like I got one. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to leave it for Kashmir, mm -hmm. but the Demi Moore book and stuff that's coming oh, out. Yeah. Yeah. He, who, who, ha, ha. Mm -hmm. Wing, bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> water, water, bang, bang. Ooh, ee. Ooh, uh, uh. Just doing boss's kid. <laughs> yeah, I mean, first of all, she comes out with these things, I can't believe. And then Coocher was mad today. Yeah, the Cooch. And also Ducky had to fucking spring for himself. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know he was involved. She said, I'm so sorry I took Ducky's fucking virginity on this movie that we oh, did God. in 1984. And so that forced Ducky to come out. <laughs> and apparently, I mean, she just came into this fucking world of his. And it was wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. And he was fucking puddle on the floor. After. Yeah, I would imagine. I mean, he... I think really is the duck man. Oh. So, you know what I mean? I think he was playing himself. So he's a sensitive boy. I did an uh, mass with him and he was like, people have always thought that I was gay and everyone was just laughing at him. <laughs> like, why <laughs> won't you admit it? I mean, yeah. every part that he plays, I mean, that he was, seems like the guy hiding his gayness. I mean, there was a lot of things uh, wrong with the ending of Pretty in Pink, but the main one was... Why doesn't he just come out at the end? Why do we have to be like, and then he goes off with this blonde? Like, come on. That's not his end. Just say it. And well, they had like, another end. Well, they they had like, another ending. That and they the people, were going to end up together. Yes. But like that doesn't any, make sense. Any other rom-com, they would end up together. And they did it. And people went, no, we want her with the handsome douche boat. <laughs> I would have liked the ending of that to be similar to uh, Irene's exit from the real world Boston. Yeah. Things would never work out between you and I, Ducky, because you're a homosexual. Yeah. By the way, <laughs> the guy that she said that to looks exactly like Earl. A hundred percent. He really You remember is. that guy, Earl? I remember that guy because I remember that at the, when he gave her the slap, it was just like, you might as well have just. Slap her around the world. Slap yeah. her around the world. And it was just such a. It wasn't a, it wasn't a forceful slap. It was just, it was almost like a confirmation slap. He's like, yes, I confirmation, am. confirmation that he was gay. Gay, yeah. Wow, that was a strong fucking thing. Earl just <laughs> laid out there on us. You really believe in Alton people? I don't Do believe you feel it. like you always knew that Fez was gay before he thought he was? Yeah. How did you know? Um, How could you tell? I don't know that there's no one set way. There has Take to be one. one set way. I mean, you've come to this conclusion. So even if you need to say, here's the 13 things that pointed it out. <laughs> but what made you think? No, it was just, uh, um, he was, uh, he had such a cattiness to him that was really funny. Mm -hmm. Funny oh. cattiness, like oh, gays have. God. 
Do all gays have funny cattiness? Is that no, what you're I saying? I didn't say that at well, all. What are you saying? Perhaps um, you think Pete Buttigieg is funny and catty. <laughs> Pete Buttigieg <laughs> is not gay enough, and that has come up. So he's yeah. such a disappointment for people who are well, looking for a gay The gay community friend. is not uh, yeah, they, <laughs> But also the le- women community. He's not right. the kind of gay that it's they want to be friends with. <laughs> So, yes, that's not making sense, Earl. What is it? What made you think that? What made you judge him? I'm not way? judging him. I love Fezzy. That's not what we're saying. You could judge somebody and love them. No, I mean, there was just a... Well, I remember, like, even before I, like, really got to really know you guys and people would come up to me and ask me, like, you know, about the show and they were like, and they were just like, is Fez gay? And I'm like, I don't know. I was like, who cares? So what you're going by is rumors. Fucking just... Rumors. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the way, when it comes to Gates and Jobs, my favorite is neither. Mm-hmm. The guy who's always fascinated me, Larry Ellison, who's got just as much money oh, as both yeah. of them. Yeah. No one understands what Oracle does or how they're tied up. What the? Where does that Wait, fucking that money go? Is that Oracle? Next? Oracle, yeah, it's like, I guess it's... It's software, yeah, but it's software for, for military and CIA. Like, I didn't even know it was for that. I thought it was just like for servers. For but like, no one really gets how that all works. Yeah. And he's got like $70 billion. Yeah. Is and he, he looks evil. He really <laughs> looks like... The evil um, guy in any movie. Yeah, he's like a Bond villain or yeah. something. Bond villain is the perfect evil. Why is he also wearing a turtleneck? Why did they start doing that? <laughs> no one knows why those fucking nerds do <laughs> why it. Why did they, they do, do that? <laughs> Look at him. He's wearing a suit jacket and a turtleneck. One thing that Huey Lewis, and maybe the only <laughs> thing Huey Lewis has ever been wrong about, is that it's hip to be square. <laughs> it is not. <laughs> It's never, you know, you can be rich and fucking square, but hip, no. <laughs> uh, 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 all right, so, uh, Army Brett is just making bo- all kinds of these now. Oh, us. nice. Thank you, Army Brett. So, Larry Ellison was the only answer yeah, I would have it accepted. You know, it's um, pretty good ads. You know, my first fascination was bill gates when i was a kid yeah because i remember there was this article about his house and how he had a smart home which obviously now is a normal thing yeah but to me it was like this guy's living in the future before any of us And, and a lot of that stuff that they acted like was cool like you would put a pin on yeah and whatever you do would play the music you liked and turn the fucking picture into another picture. So in the morning, you would put your that? pin on and then like the art, all the screens would change to your yeah. art. It would change But by to the way, your... that's not art, by the way. You're just, <laughs> it's just screen. fucking, uh, it's a screen grabber is right. all it is. Yeah. Then it would change to your preferred temperature and then like pipe in some music that you like. And then as you moved about the mansion, the the house would change with you. But well, then what in, if we're both in the same room? In when? this fucking thing, because the mansion is like on an island or whatever. And his wife said, you know, me and the baby were in this giant fucking thing. And then he was gone for 14, 16 hour days. And she was just like, I was alone in this place. Feeling like, I don't know if someone's broken here is going to kill me and the baby. Oh my it's God. like he never, like that kind of stuff. You know? Yeah, I didn't think about well, yeah, who would want to be alone in that? Okay, so that's The Shining, but it's your own home. Right, you like, live in The Shining. And then you wake up at night and Bill Gates is just throwing a fucking ball against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm in here working on my computer. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come in here. <laughs> <laughs> and they said that when uh, ever that he was together... With Jobs, he was just completely cucked. Like Jobs would just yeah. cuck him to his face. Because yeah. Jobs was like, you know, I make this stuff that changes stuff. And you're making a lot of money off of shit that's really bad and it doesn't matter. And <laughs> he would just like, well, one thing about Bill is he has no taste. And that's the thing. And they would just show Gates just sitting there <laughs> while he was talking. Like Fuck. Gates couldn't even understand what was an insult. Yeah. You know? It's also where, like, Gates, like, did they talk about his love of bridge? Well, he was playing bridge in it with the other, the oh, fucking really? richest guy in the world, that fucking... Oh, uh, 
half wit fucking trillionaire. <laughs> he's always drinking cokes, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's his name? It just he's the investor. Bat- he's the uh, the investor. Warren Buffett. Yeah, Warren Buffett. Coke man. The two of them are just sitting playing he cards. Loves, uh, drinking cokes. Yeah. Yeah, and he every day he stops for McDonald's breakfast, and depending on how the stock market is doing, is what he'll buy. And he goes through the drive-through, and he just lives in like a regular house in like Nebraska somewhere. Yeah. Just I think it's called Bum Fuck, and I guess it's <laughs> named after some bums that were fucking. But he just. He leaves this like, look, this is a nice regular house that a person would live in. Yeah. When he has like ninety <laughs> billion dollars, so he pulls in the same McDonald's, and then depending on what the stock market is, and then he'll have exact change. Like, um, sorry, it's a sausage McMuffin day today, you know. <laughs> and um, he gives the exact change. Off he goes, you know. He goes and makes another billion dollars or loses a billion dollars mm-hmm. depending on the day is. I'm just, you know, completely not figured out how to have fun with this. <laughs> yeah, really fucking just boring and shitty. Most rich people don't seem like they're doing it right. Well, yeah, they didn't think, I want to be rich and have a lot of nice things. When you see guys like that, they lucked out. <laughs> you know, those people, the, the numbers are numbers, whether it's money or any. They only like math. Right. Yeah. Have when you ever- Bill Gates was a kid, he took this test, and in his state, um, they're like, okay, you are the smartest per. You ranked higher than anyone else who took this test. And they're going, oh, in the eighth grade? No, in all the grades. Like, he was already that fucking... Wow. Just knowing math. Yeah. And this is something you're born with. It's like fucking yeah. praising somebody for being fast. Right. You know, like, I'm trying to take fucking um, Vito from a 4 4 40 to a 4 3. That's our goal. Mm hmm. But nothing but pure talent got him to that 4-4, four, four, or at least a 4-5. You know, he's sure. worked himself down to a 4-4. Four, four. Can we get to a 4-3? I hope, but that's where the whole work comes in. Yeah. Not the initial thing. Chris is 40, 13-70 runs. <laughs> <laughs> and he puked and shit. <laughs> Doing the 40. Shit, too? Yeah. It was a, it was a rough day. He was shitting while he was puking. <laughs> Look, when I start running, everything starts jiggling around in there. Did you see now why Earl wants to kill you? Kill what? you dead? Because I have gas. <laughs> At least I know how to set up a fucking tablet. Did that hurt, Earl? Uh, yeah, that was a low blow. But yeah. Would you just like to hear anyone say, man, Earl's killing it? Of course I would. When's the last time you heard that? Um, It's been a while. Well, when? I, I don't know. I couldn't really tell you. You got to know that if you want to measure yourself, right? Yes, I mean, I'm, and believe me, I'm I'm very aware that I'm not been me, very aware, and it's driving me crazy. But not aware enough. I, down I, to, you could say here's where it worked and here's where it didn't. Yeah, I mean, again, working, I'm working on it. I'm I'm trying very very hard. You're not because I just asked you when did it all start to change. No, I think that's the, when the, the awareness you. of that. That's what i'm working on now. you're working on, on awareness about you're aware that you're not being aware like i'm aware that i'm not where i need to be i'm i've been i'm trying to figure but out when like, did that stop like congr- when did it start right, that's but what, when I'm, I'm, what i'm saying is you're congratulating yourself for knowing that you're lost no i'm right? not, not at look, all but yes it's exactly what you're doing no. because i said when did you get lost and you have no idea like, I mean, I'm not congratulating myself, and I'm certainly not proud yeah, of Yeah, you just did. You just went out of your way to say, I'm aware, and I'm working yeah, on it. I'm but aware. the fact is you're not working on it. I'm aware, but I'm not happy about it. But you would be able to easily take the time to go, when did this start to go off? If you were monitoring what was going on. Yeah, I mean, it's been, like, yeah, this is, goes back a while. So I can't, I'm trying to figure out, okay, exactly Would you say when? decades? Would you say it goes back to the 80s or 90s? No. Not uh, at least ten years. So <laughs> at least ten for ten not years. De- decade, but I mean, there's this the thing. Ox. Yeah. So you just the missed ox. a decade. Yeah, I mean, you know, guess what? I was away from I was away from this from nine years too, and that was that was a that was a rough. That was nine a rough years. Year. Yeah, it was a very rough nine years. But this is why you want to take advantage of this. Oh, totally. But Earl, you lost the mouse the other day. <laughs> I didn't lose anything. That was that one hurt. <laughs> Xerox. 
Xerox. Yeah, song. Xerox, take it back. <laughs> what a bunch of idiots those Xerox. Yeah, fucking morons. <laughs> yeah. Just making copies. Where fucking was the jerk mouse? offs. What's that? Where was the mouse? Still unknown. Oh. Still gone? Uh, yeah, Earl had to go buy another one. Yeah. Your own money, Earl? Yeah, I replaced it. But why are you saying that like it's a positive? I didn't. I'm not. Pr I'm not proud of it. I'm just saying. Mistake was made. I, I went. To, I went to correct it, and I'm trying to correct it. Maybe you're trying to. Didn't you already I correct it? I, I bought a new mouse. You're moving. Yeah, that's the mouse. That's the brand new mouse. Right to your left, Ron. I, thought it was I like the old mouse. Yeah. I thought uh, it was too. Smooth, actually, when I saw it. The old mouse, mouse. I call mousey. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna call this one? Mouse mouse. Maybe Earl should start doing the dish, you know, because he seems like that's his thing. What would you say your thing is, Earl? Well, definitely music. Music. Really? Um, because you gave that to fucking Vito. I mean, um, I, I could talk movies. I think um, I love movies. I love art. I love. Where's the prep for all that then? Where's the ideas? Do you know what I mean? That's producing. Yep. The details of that, not just the broad thing. Yeah, getting the finite of that and how to how what to make mean it getting the finite of it you know just getting the getting it down to something where it can be used for everyone or used by everyone how are we going to use it are we going to have sex with it <laughs> no i'm just uh, <laughs> how are we going to use the finite of it i'm very confused who who's using it <laughs> what are we doing earl Not sure. <laughs> All right. Let's start, right? I know one thing. I think we all proved it. You and Chris cannot exist in the same place. I can't. One of you's got to go. I can't believe. And if I was saying right now, yeah. it'd be Chris. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because. <laughs> Why? The raging, like Earl. the rage, it's kind of disturbing. Well, yeah, I have a temper. But it also least. seems like Earl's on a thing of a breakthrough. The like. finite, <laughs> and you don't I get don't down to the, the finite at all. I don't. I, I wasn't aware of the finite up until the last fucking two minutes. You can at least say he's more pleasant to be around. I, I mean, yeah, I, I'll, I'll fucking give that out. Can I just say Earl's something that Hickman wrote? Now, I don't know whether this is true or not. He goes, uh, yeah. I think Earl just wants to hang out with a, at a radio station with his pals. He doesn't want to do the work. He just likes the company. Earl is an old guy who hangs at the barbershop, doesn't want a haircut or to cut hair. He just wants to be there. There's a lot of insight there. Uh, yeah. I, I, number one, I hated the barbershop, <laughs> which is why I started that, cutting my own hair. That's the that's metaphor. It's too finite. Yeah. <laughs> the, that, that was just the metaphor. And, so I, and I hated the understand. barbershop culture because just it was just a bunch of guys screaming on top of one another. And I well, just... how's that different from what you hear here? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether you've ever been here I for was... the Vito Chris fucking conversation. I mean, I was just screaming at you, Earl. I, I was going to a Dominican barbershop for a little while. I mm -hmm. thought it was fun. They were handing out beers all the time, playing uh, reggaeton. Yeah? So what's that mean? I don't know why Earl wouldn't like that. Oh. There's a lot of camaraderie. Why did there. you stop, though? I'm still kind of interested. What about the first part of, of what he said? Do you but agree I, with that about but, uh, you know, wanting to hang out with your buds at a radio station but not? Do you no, feel I that's true? I only want to put in the work. I mean, anyway, like. You know, I lo you know I love music and I hang out with musicians and where here? Not here, but you know, but you know, and there's a great camaraderie and a great thing like. But I'm not going to try to jump on stage. You know, like I mean, I know where my boundaries are. Well, you were on stage before playing rhythm. <laughs> oh, I know, like I know how to play the guitar, but I'm not inspiring to be a musician. Look at the deep, deep fake with me and Fonzie. It makes me fucking uncomfortable. Really? There's a deep fake of Ronzie, and it is uh, oh, very no. convincing. I think it looks worse than me and worse than Fonzie. <laughs> but Reynolds made that.